desperately trying to get the autofocus off of this. Maybe I did. Nope, there it goes. Oh. Yeah, it is absolutely just sickening. See about this. I have no idea what all that means. Okay. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for stopping by this evening. So I just thought I'd give it a minute here, but I guess we'll begin. Um, I'm Joanne, and I. And this is stampinginthevalley.com, and this is my live video. Hey, <laughs> how sweet. This is my live video on Sunday evenings now at 8 p.m. Um, this is my summer hours because I'm very busy with my family during the day. The sun is out, and we're out in the great sunshine. And um, so I decided to change things up a little bit instead of doing a 3 o'clock um, like I probably will change that back in the winter or in the fall, something like that. But today, tonight we are going to make this card right here. And I use the Floral Essence um, stamp set that's in the new catalog. And I just used the stamp set on this. Love this flower right here. I really love this set. I've used it a lot. You've seen me use it a lot. And I'm, hey Lily. I'm really, if you guys know how, or if anybody knows how I can turn the autofocus off on this iPad, I surely would appreciate it. Um, I've looked all through everything. I can't find it. It said to tap and hold the screen and it would stop it, but um, it's not doing that. So, I, you know, um, yeah, if you know anybody, what did I miss? I'm packing a week long. Nothing, Lily. You've missed nothing. I promise. We've not done anything yet. We're just we're just starting. <laughs> How funny. But we're going to use the Floral Essence right here um, stamp set. So, and I have everything mounted. The new catalog will be launching June 4th. How much fun is that going to be? There's a lot of nice things in this new catalog. I'm not allowed to open it, but there's the cover. And you've seen me play with this Sailing Home a whole lot. And I've got this magnolia that is coming. And uh, so I'm excited for that. Now, if you have purchased a paper share from me, thank you so much. I've gotten all the money together. I've ordered some of it that I'm allowed to order on a pre-order. And then I'll order the rest of it on June 4th. Please don't think that I'm holding your money, okay? <laughs> That's not... I had to get you all to pay first to see how many I would get, and I got 16. This is the biggest paper share I've ever done. And um, so uh, th then the paper has to get to me. I have to cut it up. I have to package it. And it should be to you guys, I'm hoping by the middle, the 15th to the 20th of the month of June. That's what I'm hoping um, that's what I'm shooting for, if not before. I work on it really, really hard. I just have never had this many. So I'm very, very excited about that. But um, that's the way that it works. Uh, I, you know, have to send the invoices out. I get the money in. I order the product. And then I ship everything. And so that that is why, you know, it's not like a quick turnaround time like my card kit classes, which have changed for this month. So these are the ones for June. Aren't they cute? I, you, I had to use the sailing home. I just absolutely love that. And then here, I, you're going to get a vellum flower. Love those. Okay, so these are the two card kits. That's, this is if you place an order with me or if you're a downline or a paper pumpkin subscriber. That I, I didn't know what to do for my downlines and my paper pumpkin subscribers, and I wanted to always do something for them every month. So I thought they like putting cards together, so I thought they would like the two free card kits. So that's my gift to them. Then, my second promotion is my Happy Crafting Card Kit class. And these are the four designs. You get two of each. These are the four designs for this month. Isn't this one adorable with the seaweed up here? I love that. And then I use the Starts With Art on these two. Now, what this is, is um, 
It's $25. You don't have to order any Stampin' Up! product. This is, I send you two kits of each. Two um, card kits with envelopes, so you're going to get eight Whisper White envelopes of each of these. It's $25. If you would like to participate, just email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com and just tell me, and I, would, I will send you a PayPal invoice, or I will um, accept a personal check or a money order. And the only thing with the personal check is that it has to clear the bank. That's it. So there we go with all of that. Now, um, I used for this card, I love this card because I colored with the blend. So we're going to be doing some coloring tonight. Um, I used Rococo Rose. I used Old Olive. And I used Daffodil Delight. I thought these three colors, I love pink and green. And then just to add a little pop of yellow, I think is just perfect. So I really love these colors. So let's go ahead and open these. Then I used our scalloped linen ribbon, a little piece of it, just four inches of it. I'll put these stamps pads all around here. And I am very sorry if this camera is auto-focusing. I'm trying to stay like at a distance um, away from it. It's, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. So here's our card for tonight. And there's the inside. I love Rococo Rose. I did color with Flirty Flamingo, light and dark, Balmy Blue, light and dark, and then just light um, Daffodil Delight. Those were my colors. So let's move this one aside. I'm using my foam pad because I'm on photopolymer stamps. And here is, if you were to do this as a kit, this is how that you would put it together. There is a Whisper White envelope. Okay, and then you have your card base, and this is Rococo Rose at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half, so it'll open like this. And whenever I do a color card base, I always do an insert of Whisper White, and this is regular Whisper White, not the thick. And this is 4 and 3 quarter by 3 and a half. This was cut with our scallop framelits, and this was cut with the stitched um, scallop framelit, and it will layer like that. And then our outside piece that we're going to color on is five and a quarter by four. So let's go ahead and do a little stamping first. We're gonna take care of our um, sentiment right here. And it's going to say, all days are beautiful that begin with you. That is so true. When I craft, all days are beautiful, that is for sure. So I'm gonna stamp that in the middle, perfect. And then I'm going to use this little um, leaf that came in in this set. I don't know if it's a leaf or a sprig and I'm going to do that in Old Olive and I'm just going to do a couple of these on top and a couple on the bottom. Just whimsically around. Oh, I missed that just a little bit. That's okay. Just a little whimsical sprig. Just like that. Just to give it something something. Now, um, I'm going to come over here and get my, let's see, my video keeps stalling. Pretty sure it's on my side. Yeah, mine's not. Yeah, mine is not um, stalling on this side. I just worry about the autofocus. I so understand that, that that would make me sick to my stomach, you know, watching that constantly. I, I had even thought about, like, not doing any more lives until... I got that fixed, but I like doing this, so we'll just keep going until I can figure it out. Now, I'm going to attach this to our um, oval framelit here, and these are the layering oval framelits right here. You get a bunch of them in here. These are like a staple, I think, layering the circles and the squares, and now we have the stitched rectangle. But these in here, there are like so many of them. And I use them constantly. I use these and the circles. I guess I use the circles more than I do the ovals. But, um, and I guess I use the circles more than I do any of them. But I really do like having them as a staple in my collection. Now this, we're going to use just some dimensionals on. So we'll put these on real quick here just to have it done. And I'll put that up there. 
I really love my stamp and storage. I'm just taking the backs off of these dimensionals. I have to admit, I had more people tuning in with me um, in the middle of the afternoon on um, on Sundays, but they can catch the replays. And now, like, gosh, it's so pretty out. We just want to be outside. Um, <clears throat> now, let's go ahead and do this the inside right here. And we're going to use this little flower right here, but I am going to stamp it off first. I want it more pink than I do the red of the Rococo Rose. I absolutely love this color. So I am going to ink that up, stamp it off, and then stamp it right here, just to give me that pretty light pink. Oh, so pretty, so pretty, pretty. And let's go ahead, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and um, do our envelope right here because we're going to use that same technique. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp it off, off to the side there and right there. Ink it up, stamp it off, turn it around, and right there. Beautiful. Now we're going to put the little, um, I call it pollen. In the middle of it, I don't know what it's called, but it's this little yellow. And I, I just, it just looks like pollen to me. So now we have our envelope completed. And we'll bring our card base in right here. Or this isn't the base, this is the inside, I'm sorry. So right there. And right there. Perfect. And now we're going to put our sentiment that says, with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. In Rococo Rose, full strength. This you kind of want. I wanted the saying to stand out where I had stamped off the flowers. So I thought that looked really pretty just like that. So we can go ahead and attach this to our card right now. I'm making sure I have all my pieces ready to go here. So we will just attach this to the inside just with some snail. Nothing is embossed on this card. So we're good to go with just our snail. And I always use a larger border in the inside. That's just my preference. It might not be yours, but that's fine. So that just makes the inside look pretty. I love this color. So now we're going to go ahead and work with this. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to work with, and we're done with our ink, too, um, with our five and a quarter by four piece of regular Whisper White. Hi, Judith. Thank you for stopping in. So, I have a piece of scrap paper back here and my foam mat underneath. And I'm going to use my Tuxedo Memento Black Ink because we are going to color. And let's see. I kind of want to copy the one that I had because it came out so pretty. Um, Judith, we're making this card right here. And we're going to use some blends. So I'm going to take this in the Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. Now this would probably be a great time to use a Stamparatus. I'm going to stamp off a little bit on the page right there. But I think I'm going to be okay with my um, foam mat. And my ink is real juicy, so that's good. And then here, I'm trying to leave most of the flower on here the best I can but also leaving some white space so I could get my greenery on here also. So that looks really nice. Oh, I closed up all the ink like we weren't going to use any. No, we need the green. Okay, so we're done with the memento. Now, why do we use memento? Hi, Judith. Um, we, hi, Rosemary. Oh, thank you so much, you guys, for um, tuning in with me this evening. Thank you so much. Um, the reason why we use memento is because I'm going to color with alcohol markers, and the Memento ink kind of holds the alcohol marker in so that it doesn't totally bleed out. Um, so now what I want to do is come over here with some old olive. And I'm going to use this leaf right here. And I'm, I want this also to be the second generation of this ink because this is way too dark for this card. 
So I'm stamping it off. And then I'm going to come off of the card a little bit with the stem there and just put this around the flowers. And trying to use as much of the white space as I can without overlapping the best we can here. And let's see, I'm going to come over here with just some leaves. And I'm going to come down in here with some leaves. Just kind of just, you know, whimsical. There's no right or wrong to any of this. Come right here. Oh, I went right over my flower. Did you see what I just did? Oh, that is a big major boo-boo. No, we can't even use that. I won't. Huh? Let me get paper. Quickly. Let's cut five and a quarter by four. That is unacceptable. Yeah, you can't even fix that, right? <laughs> so let's do this once again. Let's get the Tuxedo Memento Black Ink once again. And we put these flowers. I want to make sure I have enough black ink on there. And we are good. And I'll try to stay on the paper this time. All right. Okay. So let's see. Let me get rid of that. Let me get another piece of scrap paper so that I can continue to um, stamp off down here and I won't be so close to my work there. Let's see, what's the other side of this look like? All right, let's try that. A little bit better. Not so busy, right? Put that out of the way. Okay, here we go again with our leaves. And we're going to stamp off our old olive because it's way, way, way too dark for what we're trying to do here. And just stamp it on. Okay. Let's see, I think I want to come this way with those leaves. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And let's try to get almost a whole one up here. Good. And I'm just going to get some leaves down here. And let's see. On the other one, I didn't just do the leaves. I made sure I had all the stems on it. But I knew that I, I like that a lot better. If you can see right here, I made sure, you know, I didn't have like leaves and I wanted that. I wanted just the leaves around on this one. Okay, now we're going to take our little sprig here and this one we're going to do. Hey, Glenda, I'm so happy to see you on here. Thank you. Thank you for coming this evening. Um, so this we're going to use full strength old olive and I want to take it down to the base of this stem and full strength just so that these little guys are just as whimsical as can be. Just adding to that, um, just adding to it, that's all. That's all we're doing is just adding a little bit more greenery in here with this. And just here. And here. And I bet you're going, wow, that's just kind of plain. Wait until we add a little color to this. Ah, uh, it's just going to look fabuloso. And you can just take these little sprigs and add them anywhere you want. When I started working with this with the other card, I was like, oh, I really like this little outline of greenery. I think it really looks pretty. So I think I'm just going to come here. Yeah. All right. Let's just, that's good enough there. Now what we're going to do, now we can really close the ink. And now we're going to color. 
And this is going to take a little time because we are live, but we're okay. We're just kind of hanging out. All the wash is done and put up. I'm ready for work tomorrow so I can hang out with you guys. So, so here we go. We are going to take our um, dark flirty flamingo with the brush tip. And anywhere that, the, that Stampin' Up! has put these shoots off of this flower, you want to go ahead and add your dark. And I'm, I've got such a light touch with this marker. Do not press down with these, um, these blends because they are an alcohol marker and they are made to kind of spread out and bleed out. I do need something behind that, don't I? All right, so I'm just going to come out on these shoots with the dark flirty flamingo just around this flower. And this is what I'm doing to each flower that I want to be pink. So it's this one and then this one down here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the balmy blue, the dark balmy blue because then we're going to um, blend. So there's the dark. Now I'm gonna come in with the light and I'm using the brush tip. I had a customer purchase some blends and she told me that she was having a hard time with them. So that is what inspired me. I got a little bit inside the line here. I'm using my color lifter and it actually, this is not a color eraser. I push this ink back into where it should be with this um, marker, with this color lifter marker. So that is, to me, an essential. When you get your blends, you should um, invest in the color lifter marker the first thing. Okay, now this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just, with a very light touch, we're going to start to color. And I'm kind of doing the outside edge. And then I'm going to come down into this darker color and I'm going to push it out into the light. I'm going to take that color and push it out into the lighter part of the flower. So because my little customer there was having a little trouble with this, I thought, well, it's a great time to color and I've wanted to use this flower. And see how I'm really not, you know, coloring, but I'm taking this darker and I'm just pushing it out into the lighter part of the flower. And it will blend, I promise you. It's almost like a little flicking that I do with the marker. And you can always go back over it and push more color where you want it. I'm gonna color that in there, and come up here, and th there's a fly. See how, I, now we have a beautiful um, blending of the darker color into the lighter part of the flirty flamingo. And just, you're actually not adding more color to it, but if you just keep going over it, it will blend into the rest of the color. Oop, I went outside the line again. I can almost make that a petal right there. I think I will. Is that? We're just going to incorporate that right into it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love to color with blends. I love them. So let's do this flower up here. And let's do that pushing motion again. And I'm very, very extremely light touch, guys. There is a learning curve with these things. You want to push color and pull color.
and I really, I honest to goodness, I do not have a heavy hand with this whatsoever. So pretty. Look at how that is making that greenery pop out. Isn't that just so pretty? It just really allows the um, the green of the of the leaves to really pop. So beautiful. I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me while I color. Now, last week I didn't do a giveaway, but I think this week I will. I just didn't, I wasn't um, really sure how many people I would get because I changed my time. So let's do a giveaway. And I had one little lady finally get back in touch with me from a couple of weeks ago, but one other little lady didn't yet, so that's okay. I'll just wait. I have her package. I just need her to get back with me. Ah, came so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to take the yellow right here and the brush tip, and I'm just going to color the inside of this flower. And that also allows that pink to really show through. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love flowers and I love coloring. But in real life, guys, okay, I could kill silk. I am not kidding. I, I cannot grow anything. If I have to live, I love to color with the blends also. It's so relaxing. Yes, Rosemary. I so agree. I could just sit in here. Sometimes I'll do like a whole eight and a half by 11 sheet of just things that I need to color and I will just sit in here and color for hours. I love it. I absolutely love it. So here we have the balmy blue and this is the dark. So again, Stampin' Up! takes the guesswork, I think, out of it for me. And just where the dark lines are is where I use my dark color on something like this. And I'm not really that careful with it because I'm going to be blending and it's going to be fun. And now let's do this one down here. I'm so happy you guys have stopped by so I could share some ideas with you, you guys. And um, I'm excited about the launch of the new catalog. It is just, uh, is one that I really, really uh, am all about. Last year's, I, I have to admit, I liked, but I wasn't all about it. Now this one, I am all about. And the year before last year's, I was all about that one. And I hated to see a lot of things go. So there's our dark. Look at how beautiful from nothing, guys. We had, hi, Sandra. We had a, um, a, a blank piece of paper. An absolute blank piece of paper, and we have made something just so beautiful with just a few markers and some ink and some stamps. So here, push again your color out of the dark and into the white space. I just ordered the Magnolia just the other day because I was ordering for the paper share, and um, I had some things on my pre-order list that I wanted also. So I went ahead and it was finally in stock. I was so happy. Um, and I cannot wait to color that magnolia with you guys. I don't know if uh, Sandra's a demonstrator. Did you get to, did you purchase the magnolia or anything like that? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, so she's on, she's one of my downlines. Um, and I, I wanted to purchase that magnolia set right off in the pre-order that we get to do as demonstrators but it had sold out that quick but they got it right back in because uh, Stampin' Up! makes their own stamps so they just had to we just had to wait a little bit and it was fine but everything should be fine for the order on I hope on June um, 4th I'm pretty sure that everything's okay there and um, if you Order something on June 4th and it, the little back order thing comes up, the little box that says about back orders. Go ahead if you really want the item and click yes that you want it. Because what happens is you get in a line with all these folks that then want that same product that it's back ordered. And um, when the back order comes in, your 
order is always filled first because it's on back order. Now I did a video over on YouTube about the blades. So if you'll go over to my YouTube channel, I'm not even going to talk about them. Um, but if you go over to my YouTube channel, you can hear what I had to say about all of that. Uh, I did one of those that this weekend. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this balmy blue. It's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous color. And I'm just pushing a little bit more of the dark up into the light so I get a little bit more shading there. I want to come up in here a little bit. I have an absolutely very light, light feather touch with this marker right now. I, I am not bearing down on it and pushing at all. So my, my little customer said that she was having trouble with the blends. And like I said, that's what inspired me to do this. And I hope that she watches and sees that it's not, um, you know, there is a learning curve. It's not something that you just dive in and get it right. And there's a lot of times that I don't get it right. And I, oh, I'm just pushing that color right up into there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mmm. So pretty. So we'll do the other one in just a second. I want to add the yellow to this one. This is just light daffodil delight. Full strength. Like that. Now we'll go ahead and finish this one and then attach it to the card. And we've got it. But there's plenty of times I come in here and I'll put something, like I'll put Frasier on or MASH or, um, you know, all reruns of something that is just absolutely mindless. You know, I'm just listening to it. I'm really not watching it. And I will sit and color for hours, guys, hours. Just beautiful. And I, I absolutely love that we had a blank piece of paper and look what we did with it this evening. I'm going to come around this leaf and even just color right into it. It's okay. I tried not to let these leaves overlap at all, but it's okay. And I'm just flicking color up into those petals. I'm going to make this one a little bit lighter than this one. That's the greatest thing about the blends. You can do your degree of darkness, you know, or lightness. You know, I could even go in here if I even wanted some more light areas and use the color lifter and lift out a little bit of color and put some white on the tips of these if I wanted to. But I don't. I really like the color on them. Oh, so pretty. Now, see the difference? This one is a little bit lighter out through here. I didn't go back over it for a second time. And this one I did. So, you know... It is just um, whatever whatever you want, how and however you want it. Ah, so beautiful. Oh, okay, so let's get back to the giveaway. So let's go ahead and give away one of these cards. Now, we'll use some snail here. Let's go ahead and do that. I won't pick somebody tonight because it's getting late. I'll pick somebody tomorrow. All right, so I give people more time to get on here and say hello. We're going to add this right to the base of our card there. Oh, I might have got that a little crooked. Let me see. Am I committed? Ooh. Maybe not. Okay, let's do that again. Get that out of the way. Go right in here. All right, there we go. Beautiful. We did the inside, and we put these two little flowers with the Daffodil Delight and a beautiful sentiment. And now we have already made our the front. Oh, wait. we got to put our, um, our ribbon down. This is the scallop li linen ribbon. So I, it's four inches, and it's straight across. Now I want to just put a little angle on the edges. So to get them even, put them together, and then just cut on the angle and you get a perfect absolutely perfect piece every time 
when you cut like that. And let me get some glue dots here. And my puppy is stuck in my whoop. Okay. And now with this, I'm going to use three glue dots just on the back here. Two on either end and one in the middle. Just, just give it a little accent. I love this ribbon because um, even a crumb cake color behind this right here, if you wanted to even make it smaller and using another layer, crumb cake would look great with this. I think Smoky Slate did too. I love the Rococo Rose. I love all the new colors, just so beautiful. They really, I don't know who does all of that. I, I couldn't. I'm, I'm just glad that they do it because I'm not that fancy schmancy with color. You know, there's some people that are really good about that. I'm not. So I just put that in the middle and let my glue dots hold it. And then we're going to take our sentiment and add that right in the center there. And here is our card for tonight. Just beautiful. How much fun is that? Okay, so the giveaway. With envelopes. So pretty. So you'll get one of these cards. And let's see, what else? Um, let's see, what, what, would you, what should I do? Oh, let's do some new stuff, okay? <clears throat> let's do, let's do uh, one of the cards. A ship's wheel. Let's do... A uh, flower faceted gem. Let's do that. I don't even, I didn't even have anything together. Let's just, we'll put it together. We'll do a flower faceted gem. I like this one. Right there. And let's do 2019-2021 um, in color faceted dots. Let's do that. And I suppose this looks like Maybe terracotta tile. I don't, I'm not sure. This is pretty. Let's do these two. So we'll do that orange color and then this. Well, I think it's Rococo Rose and terracotta tile. That's what I think that, those are. So that's good. And then let's go ahead and get some of this. What is this? Nature's Twine. It's Mint Macaron, Blackberry Bliss, Grapefruit Grove, and Crumb Cake. So how about 12 inches of this? Let me do that real quick. This way I'll just have it done for you guys. Measure it down here. So a good foot. Some, okay. So there's the giveaway for this evening. Some of this twine. This is really thick. I like this. This is ropey. Um, these faceted gems, a ship's wheel, a uh, flower, and then a card. There is the giveaway. So just make a comment, say hello, and I will go ahead and put all the names into the hat probably tomorrow, and I'll let you know. Peacock seems close to Tranquil Tide. Yes, I totally thought the same thing, Lily. It is like a bluish green. I so totally um, agree with you on that. Giveaways are always fun. Yes, Judith, I know. I didn't get one, do one last week because I wasn't sure with changing the time, how many people I'd have, and I just wanted to see. But we've got a few here, so I'd love to give some, some stuff away. And um, let me just check these comments. Yeah, thank you so much, Rosemary. Yeah, I love to color. And as you can see, they just the, the colors are just absolutely beautiful. And I love the new color of Rococo Rose. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, that's it for tonight. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope to see you next Sunday at 8 p.m. And we'll do some more, some more of something in here, some crafting together. I sure do appreciate you guys stopping by and spending your time with me of the evening. Like I said, these are my summer hours so that I could spend more time with my family outside. I sure do appreciate everyone. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com. Click on the big blue button and order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. If you are a new customer, I am going to send you a brand new catalog for free. Thanks again for watching. Happy crafting!